Hello lovely viewers, uh, welcome back to my channel if you are an old subscriber. This is my course World Traveling Study Abroad in Chile. If you are new to this channel, thank you for clicking on it and I would urge you to like, uh, share and as well subscribe. Okay? Now, um, in today's video, I am going to show you some United Nations job. Are there jobs out there? They are open, fully founded, you know, you don't need any experience. In some fields, you do. Um, so I'll show you how to do it and what to, what to do. Now, uh, what you need, you need is your CV. Uh, you need your academic transcripts, uh, your academic certificates, I believe. And then you can just apply to this, this, uh, these jobs you see in electronics, mechanic, uh, literally all aspects. All right, so let's go ahead and I'll show you how to do it. Right, so uh, this is the UN um, na the, the UN jobs I was on about earlier, United Nations careers. I'm so excited about this. <laughs> right, um, I specifically made this video because I know UN they do give out a lot of opportunities, you know, to to many people out there. So if you are looking for a job outside your country or anywhere else in this world, UN got you covered. Okay, so the job network here. Let's do a bit of a reading. Yeah? Now, the recruitment and development of well-rounded and experienced staff capable of meeting changing organizational needs is a high priority for the United Nations. Take your time and then just read. You can select your job network. Okay, you can just filter it through it. So, you can just go information and telecommunication technology. Yeah, there we go. So, they have the job families, the areas of field. We have media technology so if you're into media you've done media back home you've done journalism back home or anything of that sort i believe you can work with this telecommunication network te um, technology network so they have it all here this is the nature of your job you can just please read it okay <laughs> so specifically jobs include information and communication technology research policy formula uh, form for formulation sorry <laughs> and <laughs> compliance uh, development and the establishment of infrastructure to support the organizational information and communication technology systems, which include computing, telecommunications, office automation, software and hardware support, internet operations, and enterprise-wide applications. So it's quite amazing. Now, education, you need computer science, I mean, BSc or master's or higher, information systems, mathematics, statistics, um, electronics, and then all that, yeah. Now, this is what, what you do. So they have these jobs as temporary openings, but I will show you the ones with permanent openings, okay? And these are in New York. The deadlines are also here, so you can just check them out. If I should choose, uh, let's say the first one, open a new tab, you read, the application is free, you don't have to pay nothing, okay? And then you can just go to apply now. You can take your time and read your responsibilities and things you'll do, yeah? Competencies, education, and all of that you need all these okay the languages of course you need to be fluent in english because it's it's you know it's in new york or it's abroad so yes now no working experience is required so this is quite amazing you know for the united nations internship program so it's free okay can okay, you just apply you need a cover letter you need your cv okay and then you will apply so i was going to say um this here as well and I'm going to give you a link where when you go there, you can create a CV, either the American standard or the European standard, okay, which is, will help you. It's for free. And it's resume.io, resume.io will help you to create your cover letters and it will help you to create your CV as well. I'll leave the links down in the um, description so you can have access to them. Yeah, great. So yeah, you just read and then you just click on apply. Now, when you click on apply, it will just bring you here well this is great it will bring you here the other one um let me just go here straight okay close this yeah it's quite the same though so when you click apply it will bring you here and then if you have an account already you sign in if not you create an account okay all right so this is it now these are the job openings in turn temporal job okay you can email this to a friend 
and you can apply straight up here as well okay the education they state everything out here as well and then you can just apply no fee now the united nations does not charge a fee at any stage of the recruitment process application to the meeting processing or training the united nations does not concern itself with information on applicants bank accounts so it's really cool isn't it yeah so you just hit apply and then there we go if you have an account you sign in if not you create a new one i right here and then boom give your name family name and all that register and then you apply it's very easy and very simple okay now these are the job openings the actual job openings these are not um you know temporal ones you know so um yeah for more information on how to apply for a job go to the application process page and i'll leave the link there so do not worry i chose in, uh, in, in, uh, information and telecommunication technology that's why you see all these here some are temporal and some are not okay so if you should pick the information management officer yes you get a whole out on it uh, the deadline 16th june and then the same process the same process and then you, you just apply so um yeah take your time go through them and um, check which one you feel so this is the main website i'll leave it down uh you choose the category anything anything at all consultants professional hire uh, level i'm not sure the family job or you can job network you can choose anything here yeah. logistics and whatever and then you just search and it will give you a whole lot see it'll give you a whole lot they have the countries here as well geneva cabal um new york nairobi and all that you know so yeah so that's all for now i will stop here and um if you have any questions do well to put them down in the comment section and as i always do i will get straight at you thank you for staying up till now and i wish you all the best i'll see you in the next one all right so that was it about the united nations jobs uh, kindly apply okay you need your cv uh, don't forget that you need your cv you need your academic uh, certificate and if you have experiences in related fields it would really help you a lot so uh, let me know how it goes after you apply. You can put your results down in the comment section and then um, so that we know what, what's, how far you've gone with this application. Alright, thank you all. End here and I'll see you in the next one.